After a day of chasing the Canadian superstar around town, we finally had the chance to sit down with the one and only Justin Bieber. And now we are here with the main man himself. That's right, the one, the only, Mr. Justin Bieber. Brother, welcome to Aotearoa. What's Aotearoa. going on? How you doing? I'm doing well. Now, I gotta tell you, like, cause you've come into um, New Zealand from like Australia like last night and yeah. you're like heading out tonight. So like, it's only a flying visit. What do you think of New Zealand so far? Uh, I think that it's been it's been great. I got to bungee jump. Yeah. I got to just hang out in the city. It, it was it was pretty awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, see here on what now we were running this competition looking for the hugest Bieber fan, the and biggest. seriously, the biggest one, man. And like, cause like we searched far and wide and got like hundreds and hundreds of entries, and we finally came up with our winner. And here she is now. Where's Alicia? Alicia, come on in. I want you to meet a friend of mine. This is Justin. Hey, what's going on? Hmm. How are you? <laughs> I'm she's, good. she's a little bit nervous, but that is all good. <laughs> she's been like, she's been trained up and everything, and she's got um, the Bieber Bible. Do you want to check it out? Nice. There, there it is right there. That's that's yours there, and she's got some questions that she wants to ask you as well. So um, yeah. let me just show you. Okay, so um, what's it like touring with other singers and getting to hang out with them? Um, it's great. I love to to work with um, a lot of cool people. Um, I worked with you know Usher, and uh, you know I love it. All right, my man. Yo. How do you make time to hang out and spend time with your friends and family? Um, I get some time to go back, but usually I'm working a lot, so I don't get a lot of time to go hang out with them. What's your inspiration for writing new songs? Is, like, is there something that like always sparks you? And, like... Um, yeah, you know, sometimes it's from, uh, you know, things that have happened in my life. Sometimes it's, you know, stories that I'm telling. Um, you know, it just depends. Um, do you find it difficult to stay grounded with people you care about with all the fame you have? Not really, because I, you know I have so many great family and friends that you know help keep me grounded, and you know I don't really find it hard. <laughs> okay, and what's it like being famous? And when you have spare time, what do you spend it doing? Um, when I have spare time, I like to uh, hang out with my friends back home. You know, go to the movies and stuff. Awesome, and I know that Alicia's got another question that she wants to ask as well. Come on, <laughs> ask it. Um, you know how you like sign a lot of stuff and have a lot of pictures? Do you mind if you sign some stuff and yeah, you have some pictures? Yeah, cool. Okay, now while you're doing that, I've got some stuff that I want to get ready to, okay. to give to you. You have got cool shoes. In New Zealand, we wear gumboots. I don't know, I, they're not the most fashionable things. You guys wear these? And surely they're not your size. Oh, my little oh, sister could fit in these probably. Yeah, definitely. And a tomato sauce bottle, Marmite, LMP. The best drink in the world. The best world. drink in the universe. Yeah, pineapple lumps. I know you've, you've tried a pineapple lump before, eh? What'd you think? It was good. It was good. Yeah. And see, this is a what now classic right now, okay? Gunge. It's like this goopy, Slime. gooey, slimy stuff. Yeah. I'd, I'd pour it on you, but I'd probably get arrested. So, um, <laughs> so I'm just going to leave it in the bottle and give it to you like that. So this is the best drink? Yeah, seriously. Do you want to try awesome. it? What does it taste like? It tastes kind of like... Ginger beerish, lemony. And then it happened. Unaware of the bumpy plane ride that LMP had taken, Justin twisted the cap. Ooh! Instantly being doused in the foreign sticky fizzy drink. What does it taste like? It tastes kind of like... Ginger beerish, lemony. And it's, it's going to be everywhere. <laughs> oh no! Oh, rookie <laughs> mistake. Hey. Everything had been going so well, but as the LMP covered our international superstar, the smile turned to a frown. Don't and it's going to be everywhere. Oh no! Oh, rookie mistake. <laughs> we'll get, we'll get that t-shirt. Oh, that's classic. You guys man. gave it to me all shaken oh, up. Oh, shaken up. That's classic. Okay, hang on. We'll keep that. Oh. We'll keep that there. But I've got one more present to give you, my friend. Okay? Yeah, I'd rather get dried off first. Justin walked out of the interview. Awkward. What do we do? Would this leave a bad impression of New Zealand forever? Would JB ever return to Aotearoa? Thankfully, after quickly wiping off his favorite clothes, Justin returned to continue our long-awaited interview. Whew. Pretty sure I hate this drink. Yeah, see, bad first impression for the drink, but yeah, I want to fix it for you because I've got one more thing that I want to give you. And, um, hang on, just get it off me right here. Now this is called a Pekka Pekka, and um, it's actually like a, a New Zealand bat. And um, it's an emblem of New Zealand, and I want to give that to you, my friend. Thank you. There you go. Hey, it was so fantastic having you joining us on the show today. And like, we are so sorry that we covered you in LMP, my friend. Give me a high <laughs> five, though. 
Awesome, thanks for your time. And, um, and we'll see you guys back in the studio.